All right, and uh, a very good early good morning, and ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my Formula One 2019 career boat. This is episode number 59, season three of my Formula One um, Formula One 2019 uh, career mode with the AMG Mercedes uh, second season. If you case you missed the previous one, which was the Singapore Grand Prix, which wasn't really a good race because I. Uh, had a, a bad gamble uh, with the soft tires and changing into the uh, medium tires near the end of the thing but uh, it was a little too little too late uh, but be sure to uh, check that out at youtube.com slash speedjpo3 and then uh, be sure to check on your uh, likes and uh, clicks and subscribe on whatever you like and, and then be sure uh, to check everything out and I would gladly appreciate that and, and now we start the beginning of my uh, birthday month which is the uh, first day of uh, September which will be called JPO Timber so now we start out the uh, 2019 career boat on my birthday month and my birthday of course is uh, in September 22nd which is uh, will be three weeks away I guess yeah that is apparently three weeks away will be September 22nd and then also coming this week, uh, in six days away, it will be the WRC8 game. Remember, I already bought that, but the bottom line is I'm not going to uh, get the NASCAR Heat 4 game. I know it will be pretty good and everything, but not very comparing to Formula 1 because they don't have driver transfers uh, in that game yet. But if they did have a driver transfer uh, on each year, uh, if they do career mode, maybe they could side swap drivers yet, but apparently 702 racing games uh, don't have the technology as they do with the Codemasters. But anyway, uh, the Russian Grand Prix uh, in practicing qualifying we did very well. We were very fast uh, with our AMG Mercedes and we totally uh, redeemed ourselves and everything and then during qualifying we, uh, me and my teammate Botas uh, were clicking at one and two. And uh, and also the in real life the Belgian Grand Prix will be today and I hope uh, Ferrari will win the race. And even though uh, that some of my guys uh, that are doing beginning the third season with the Formula One 2019 career well, like Navarre, he's now driving for the Red Bull uh, uh, Red Bull Honda team right now. And I think Tia Madeg is driving for Ferrari right now because now Tommy Martinez had to start his career mode all over again, but now he drives for Williams. So. Uh, and anyway, we did get the pole for the uh, qualifying of the Russian Grand Prix. It set a, a blazing uh, time of a minute 31.773, and then Botas was a minute 31.885. So, and I pretty much could seal the deal winning my 21st championship here in Sochi, but if not, then the next one in Japan, I should uh, wrap up the championship. So anyway, let's get on with the Russian Grand Prix, and let's see... How we can perform. Let's hope we can have a better performance uh, than we did with the Singapore Grand Prix. Good afternoon from Sochi as we prepare to get underway for the Russian Grand Prix. The championship battle has some time to go yet, but still expect no quarter to be given here on this circuit that made its debut in 2014 and has already seen some classic racing. And the weather for the uh, Russian Grand Prix, it won't be raining uh, in the Russian Grand Prix like it did in the Singapore Grand Prix. And once again, it will be sunny, nice and, and clear. A little bit of cloudiness, but it will be no effects of any rain. And here's the starting grid for the VTB Russian Grand Prix. Pierre Gasly and Verstappen. 
Leclerc, Norris, Hamilton, and Sergio Perez. Magnussen, Grosjean, Lucas Faber, and Ricardo, Russell, Sainz, Daniel Fiat, and Alexander Elbon, Raikkonen, and Devon Butler starts from the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Well, that is some great news to hear that uh, Crofty has announced that uh, if I win this uh, Russian Grand Prix in th this race on episode number 59, I could be able to wrap up the uh, my 21st uh, my 21st Formula One World Championship. And then we pretty much might uh, wrap up the uh, Constructors Championship in the next race uh, in the Japanese Grand Prix as well for, for the next one. And that would be my 19th Constructors uh, Championship. So let's see what the strategy is going to be like. We are going to make it on one stop and we should uh, uh, advance our tires all the way into lap 26 and then go into the mediums on lap 27. And this race will last for about an hour and 22 minutes. So we should be able to have a clean championship race today. And uh, we're going to be able to, uh, we're going to do it in about three laps. We'll go 56 laps in the race and then uh, 56 laps of fuel and then go into the Richmond. So that's uh, pretty much uh, safe for the uh, Russian Grand Prix. And the weather will be good. It will be uh, sunny, partly cloudy, but then at the end it will be back to uh, sunshine again without uh, any rain inside. So let's get ready for our formation lap and we cruise 53 laps into the championship in the Russian Grand Prix. And anyway, Lucas Weaver has taken a grid penalty. Well, I don't see him in the picture right there because I see uh, my teammate Botez behind. Sebastian Vettel, Charles Leclerc, and the two Red Bulls. So it looks like Lucas Weaver has taken a grid penalty because I see uh, his orange dot on the back of it. He's right behind one of the, uh, in between the Renault and the racing point. So he'll be starting in 12th and 13th position. Remember, he ha we have better durability than the McLarens. So in the last uh, six races of the season, we could see the McLarens uh, facing some grid penalties because their uh, durability and their power unit are starting to uh, wear out. But uh, I think maybe uh, Lucas Weaver might have a new gearbox or a new engine in the car. Remember, we already changed our engine over in the Singapore Grand Prix. Three, two, so this uh, last engine unit that we have, it could be good to go all the way to uh, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Now let's see if we can win this race because if we do win, we pretty much will wrap up the title. Man, this is just such amazing that I'm going to be a become a 21st time uh, world champion. I've had a great season in my third season career. Well, a little bit harder, but uh, compared to last season, I had uh, 12 wins uh, during that season because the last six races I've outdueled the uh, McLarens. Uh, where I didn't clinch the championship until my home soil at the U.S. Grand Prix, but it wouldn't be a problem this time because uh, we had better engine advantage starting in the Monaco Grand Prix. We had close finishes, so it was a very, uh, pretty, pretty productive third season. Even though I didn't win Singapore again, but I will win that uh, next season. Depends on what happens to the uh, regulation uh, changes uh, in season three when they make the change to the powertrain and the durability. And here we go for our formation lap, the reforming grid. And we will go 53 laps here in the Russian Grand Prix. The five red lights are coming on. And we are underway of the Russian Grand Prix.
Well, not a good restart, but now I have Vettel all over my tail. Man, a little bit of contact with uh, my teammate Botez, and I take the lead here in the Russian Grand Prix. It was a pretty good restart, but now I'm pulling away from the guys. I hope I didn't. Uh, I hope I didn't break uh, Botez's wing when, when I passed him coming into uh, the first corner. And look at the and look at the pass by Nico Hulkenberg. He is currently running in P2, passing my teammate Botez. Hopefully, I didn't uh, break uh, Botez's wing, and I've already put out. Um, and right away, I took a big advantage of, and on lap two, going ahead of Hulkenberg, and and now Botez is now getting involved with Sebastian Vettel. He's trying to Vettel is trying to take P3 away from my teammate. Also keeping track on the current uh, runner-up uh, in the point standings because Lucas Weaver is running out of steam against me. Because right now the uh, the Red Bull and how about the Williams team, the Roque Williams team uh, now have a better uh, reputation advantage, and so does the Red Bull. So trying to get near to into the teeth of the, the, the McLarens. So Weaver is going to be uh, struggling a little bit to, uh, to get up into the field. I'm going to be doing my uh, Russian Grand Prix. The reason why I'm doing this very early in the morning is because uh, we got the NASCAR race coming up, uh, which is Darlington, the Bojangles Southern 500, and then in real life I'm going to be watching the Belgian Grand Prix as well. Well, battle now goes by uh, Botas. I think in the end of the race, I'm going to have to check the uh, the highlights and see if I did make nose contact with uh, my teammate, uh, Botas. Because he did get by me, and then so did uh, Nico Hulkenberg uh, going into the straight. But then I made the clean pass going into the, to the right, so hopefully uh, I didn't make too much contact with my teammate. As you see here at the Russian Grand Prix, I don't have to do pretty much uh, heavy steering here. 
because the handling of this car with the full R&D uh, setup is, is working beautifully. Because I'm not really uh, jerking up the steering wheel as I used to be. Without the R&D setup, I have to let go of the throttle uh, a little bit in some of the corners. But all the other corners here is just uh, very easy, very smooth. Because my car has got exceptional handling. And my second race with the uh, second, uh, third, uh, third and last power unit on the engine, I've already got an eight second lead over Nico Holkenberg. And like I said about Lucas Weaver, he's currently running in P11 uh, right now. He's not really moving up in position because now the Williams have got. Uh, a little bit more uh, engine reputation. It's, it's very surprising to see Williams like, and they're currently fourth in the engine reputation. Well, there's no effect there or anything because they got two very talented drivers. They got Lando Norris in the Williams and Sergio Perez. This is going to be great for Sergio Perez in the next couple of races in his home soil at Mexico. He could be a key factor for that race. Well, we came here in the Russian Grand Prix. The goal is to, to go to P1 and to win this race so we can wrap up the championship. And I'll still be to, continuing to be doing episodes of Season 3. Remember, Season 3 will be uh, a little bit of a hold on my uh, live broadcast schedule because next because next year in because next season in my uh, season four career mode I'll still be driving for the Mercedes but I'm going to be doing replay views so after I'm done with my live race because my live racing will be on Facebook but then the replay views uh, we'll be doing on broadcasting video on YouTube only for season four and then we will get back to uh, to live broadcast uh, Racing views in season five. And season five will be uh, my final season with the AMG Mercedes before I switch into a new team. Because now TM Adetic has taken. Uh, so the team that is in second place in season five, I'll be able to join that team. Because now Avar is in Red Bull and Tia Medetic is now in Ferrari and I'm still in the AMG Mercedes. I could be going to possibly maybe uh, McLaren or maybe the Rich Energy Haas team because they're still second and third in the reputation. Well, Lucas Weaver is now caught up with the uh, the Williams car. Ooh, man, I almost hit the wall coming into there. Well, I gotta concentrate now. <laughs> I don't want to be doing anything silly on the track. That was so close right there. I almost uh, broke my entire wheel and everything. I could have been out of the race.
and we are a long ways away of going to, to make our first and only uh, pit stop uh, of the race. Because uh, on lap 26, I'll be changing these tires into the medium tires, and then I'll be going 20. I'll only be going 25 laps the rest of the way with the mediums. And I'm already 17 seconds uh, well ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Sebastian Vettel just rolled into P2, uh, taking P2 away from Nico Hulkenberg. And the Rich Energy Hotscars are running P3 and P4. Charles Leclerc is in the uh, 4. And remember in real life, he's on the pole for the Belgian Grand Prix. And let's hope uh, this will be the day that Ferrari is going to win. Let's hope they finish 1-2 uh, over the Mercedes. We would love to see Ferrari win a race this season because they have been doing disastrous. And, and they've had better engines and everything, but not providing a good performance during the race. So we keep our fingers crossed today. Is today the day Don Charles Leclerc will become a first-time winner in Formula One? I can't believe in nine laps I'm 21 seconds ahead of Sebastian Vettel already. Well, my car has got amazing power so far. This is incredible. Well, I'm definitely just cruising so extremely fast here at this breath in the Sochi Autodrome. And right now Hulkenberg looks like he wants P2 away from uh, Sebastian Vettel. He's caught up in a little bit of a gridlock there. Lucas Weaver is, is in the second pack right now battling with the Williams and the Red Bulls. Yet. I don't want to be spinning out on this uh, in this fast left corner. Maybe over here will be a good chance. Lucas is currently in P9. The difference is 31.2 seconds. They're on fresh softs. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 39.7.
Meanwhile, Charles Leclerc goes around his teammate, Nico Hulkenberg, for P3. That could be Hulkenberg's new team next season. Remember, he's no longer going back to the Red, Red, Red Bull Formula Indy, uh, not the Red Bull, the Renault Formula 1 team for next season. And he could be taking over Romain Grosjean's spot. And we don't know if Grosjean, Grosjean's going to go, whether he's going to be staying in Formula 1 or go somewhere else. And meanwhile, Charles Leclerc gets around Sebastian Vettel for uh, P2. This is an amazing race today for Charles Leclerc. Well, he's doing, been, been doing pretty well with the Hoscar on, on my career mode. But today, is, it, is this going to be the day Charles Leclerc gets his first ever Grand Prix uh, Formula 1 win? because he is going to be the future of Formula One, and so is Max Verstappen. That could be the, the new rivalry coming up uh, in the future. Because it looks like it's going to be the Leclerc and Verstappen era. It looks like it's going to be beginning soon. Because once Hamilton and Vettel uh, retire, that will end their era, and then the new era begins with Verstappen and Leclerc. And then some other news, uh, Sergio Perez and the Racing Point uh, Mercedes in real life is going to be staying with them for another three years. And Botez is going to be staying with, with this AMG Mercedes team for also for another three years as well. I think the biggest boost in the Formula 1 2019 season we waited so long for for a long time was the driver transfers. And I know Codemasters is working right now to put, uh, is working right now to put Alexander Albin in the Red Bull Honda and then Pierre Gasly in the Toro Rosso. 